Okay, yeah. Jump in, jump in, jump in, them boys up to something. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. This is Gallardo983 here. So today's Friday, it's October 20th, 2017. Uh, it was a really good week today. There were some big ups, big downs, but in the end, I was able to take the profit today. So let's take a look over here. Um, so right now, I'm trading Best Buy right here and Walmart and also looking at Tesla today but it's as you can see in the chart it's gone down it was about like 350s and went down to 347 today so I didn't really get into that it's pretty risky so these are my big trades today so as you can see here um, I bought today at right here 5565 and sold around 5580 range and here as you can see I'm still holding it from 8575 and right now it's 8673 so that's almost more than one dollar per share on there and you can see the profit loss so I'm going to show you everything on here how much I went up went down uh, this I sold some here I bought some like beginning of um, this week or last week and I bought, added some today and then sold some today for a quick profit and I'm still holding some so this isn't really accurate I don't know why it didn't show like overall but I'll show you on this file as I said so let's go back to thinkorswim as you seen in my last videos I show I showed you the my review on it how I use it and how it works alright so as you can see Best Buy here I bought last week around, let's see here, I bought about here when I got the buy alert signal, as you can see the arrow here, I bought around 54.40 and then I added big amount here in 54.80 on Robinhood and that's my average on there, 54.80 and then on here on new stock trade, um, I bought around think 5480 or 5485 range and then I sold today at 5578 5580 range so that was a big arrow right there uh, as you can see let's go in on the single chart here and let's go daily five minutes so as it opened up over here, um, it went up to 56, and then it came down to around 55.40, and that's where I was going to buy. And then um, on here, let's load this up, and then let's look at the chart auto range. And then I got some alerts here. I got buy around 55. 50 but it added a little high here about 55 65 and then it went down and then I was like I'll just hold because this has been on a bullish range it's been going up so I held and then went up all the way up and I found that out and didn't give into the pressure because as you go into the five day chart as you can see they open up comes comes down opens up high comes down opens up high comes down and then it goes back up so that's why I didn't sell when it was when I was down a little because I knew it was going up and that I've been reading this for a long time now so well, let's go back here um, I bought around 50 I bought around 5485 I bought around 5485 and I sold at like 55 78 range uh, let's see on here yeah that's where I sold it and this was Walmart let's, let's take a look at that chart alright so this has been on a breakout I got breakout alerts on this and Best Buy so this has been going up cr like crazy so let's look at the 5 day chart and let's, let's see here alright so I bought this around 
8590 because that's where I got the alerts as you can see the arrows here because it went down and then I didn't know if it was going down more so I just held off there and watched on the sideline and then it went up here I got alerts but I knew it was going to come down consolidate a little find support and bought around 8590 range and then it went all the way up to 86 75 today let's look at the daily chart and I'll tell you um, how it went up so this is today right here as you can see it opened up right here 86.68 and then I held through I was gonna add here but I went on to Best Buy because I knew that was going up more so I held through right here went up went down this is it's been doing this consistently so I know the chart by heart so it's been going up and right now it's about 86.75 it was up all the way there and let's look at that it's still going up right now and it's 12.50 p.m. right now so it's in the afternoon so about to get some lunch and get off and I just want to make this video for for the week just to show you how I've been doing weekly so I'm gonna be doing a video about every Friday or in the weekend when I have time or I'll be doing some daily just if I have some like nice breakouts or if I have some there need if anything like pops up or anything crazy goes on so I'm still holding them right now so let's go over here so as you can see it's 55 80 86 73 so I'm still holding this I'm still up around 30 ish and this isn't accurate I don't know why it says it's it was there that's because I took profit uh, I had 115 shares and then I sold 85 so let's take a look at the analysis here so Best Buy on new stock trade that's this right here uh, bought 30 at here and then I added here today and then it went down a little and then it shot right back up uh, markets doing really good so it went up here and I sold around 55.7. I bought here, sold here. It was a quick profit. Uh, and then, so overall, I'm up this much. And on Robinhood, I'm still holding 50. And I bought those, I believe, at 54.80 average. And right now, it's 55.80. So that's more than $1 per share. So that's 51. I'm up 51 on there. And Walmart also I bought this on new stock trade and I bought that at 8575 I told you and right now it's 8672 that's almost one dollar per share that's 30 shares that's right there so dark green ones are the stock trade light green are the Robin Hood uh, right here so that's how much I was up on there that's how much I was up on there and this is the total right here all right so that's really good for the week I've been doing like big shares that was a good weekly gain um, that includes profits that I've taken and some that I'm holding as you can see right here it's been still going up going down um, it's not I haven't taken profit on this one yet because I'm gonna hold through and I'm thinking of holding through let's say around um, my profit range on this will be like 90 so let's click that in profit target uh, my profit target would be around 60 plus and Walmart will be around 90 so let's pop that in here and there we go alright um, so if we change that on here it should change my total okay I don't think I set it up on there alright so about with about 90 it would be about like 120 maybe profit and with this I'm gonna take profit like around 60 like I said so that's gonna be 50 shares it's gonna be about like 250 on there and then so that's this right here 
And then once we go here, dish it, add, that's going to be total. So that's just my profit target. That's my profit target analysis. And that's based on how it's been going on so far. And when you look at the chart over here, let's look at the one year daily. Uh, let's go back to like November range. You see how it goes down over here. I don't know if I can zoom out over here, but you see how it just goes down a little and then just shoots up. That's because of Black Friday and Christmas shopping and everything. And then right here when the holidays end, it comes down. And then when that's because the tax season comes in. And then once January comes in, people start buying and then it goes up. And then you, I get the breakout alerts over here, buy here, buy here, sell here. And I'm going to keep holding through on that one. So let's go back to Best Buy on here. As you can see right here, it's on a huge breakout. So that's 38.03. That's 49. So it's almost $11 per share. And then as you can see, it's tax season and New Year comes in, it comes down. And then I get a lot of buy alerts over here. And then you see it shoots up. Got a big earnings there and got dividends there. And then it shoots up there. So I'm going to be holding these through. And another big one was Target. I actually sold that yesterday. Um, I broke even on that one just because I saw it going down. Uh, but I made that back on Best Buy today, but I should have held through on that one. But uh, as you can see right here, let's look at the five days. As you can see, I bought around 60, 30, and then it came back down to 60, 30 again here, and then I sold there at the end of the day. And then today it's at 61.70 high and 61.50s. So that's that's a really good one to so, uh, I would jump in on that. I'm going to wait for a pullback because I'm pretty sure the market's going to pull back next week because they are really extended. Let's take a look at um, SBY. This is a basic stock that everybody looks at to see how the market's going. So let's go see if it's going up, going down. As you can see, it's really extended right here. Let's zoom in over here. It's very extended. It went all the way from 248 to about 256. So as you can see on my charts here, it, Above this line is oversold and below 30 is, oh sorry, overbought and then oversold over here. So as you can see, it's very overbought. It's coming down and there was a big drop yesterday morning. So I know that's going to come down more. So I'm going to, that's why I took profits. Let's go back here. That's why I took profits over here on this and I'm holding on Robinhood. That's my long term and I'm holding Walmart and I'm holding Best Buy, but I'm not holding too many. As you can see, at a, at a point, I had 5 plus 30 at a total of 115, and then I sold. So that's why I have 30 left right now. So this was my weekly, and it's been really good. Uh, this is just going to be going up. I, I told you this is my profit target on these ones. And let's go back over here. Uh, so right now it's still around the same, still going up. So just take profits when you can and just live another day and then keep going, slowly build your account. That's what I've been doing. So I hope this helps you out. Uh, these holiday stocks are great. Uh, another one is Macy's because you know people are going to be just going into stores no matter what. All right, so let's go in here. Uh, let's go to the one year. So when these pop up over here, as you can see, that's the holiday season right here. That's where it goes up. And then once holidays are over, it comes back down to the earnings season, tax season over there. So let's go back here. As you can see, I uh, just buy low and sell high. It's pretty easy and you want to look for the long term. So I set these up on here uh, where I get buy alerts. So I've got study and the bullish scan check. It tells me when to buy, when to sell. I also have another one over here. 
it's another buy, another sell, and I also have one with alerts sent to my phone, buy here, sell here. Uh, the best one I like is this one. So these are all custom scripts. I can give those out. You have to code them yourself um, on how you trade. I trade on momentum and swing trade and long-term investing. So it all depends how you're going to do that. Uh, yeah, so this was a very good week as you can see on here. And I hope to be increasing this as our earning season come through and holidays come through and then I'll, I'm going to keep reinvesting that and on my next video I'm going to be showing you ETFs which are exchange traded funds and those are for long term investing so let's go preview on that uh, a good one is let's see over here I have a list of them Let's see, a good one will be this one right here, BWO. So as you can see on a yearly, sorry about that. So as you can see a yearly on here, it's been 34.71, went up all the way to 45, comes down a little, goes up, comes down, goes up, but overall it just goes up. So as you can see, I got a lot of buy alerts, buy, buy, and then got some sell alerts over here when it was dropping so yeah that's my next video I'm going to show you long-term investing these are all swing trades or these are short-term investing and yeah thanks for watching guys alright see you in my next video